Portland is my favorite parish because of its lushness and access to beaches, cool rivers, and the Blue Mountains. You really get a full island experience in the small parish of Portland. We journeyed there to meet Maurice Lee, a Maroon and the CEO of the Cromanti Experience. Maroons are slaves that fought for their freedom and gave the British hell in an 80 year long war. They are freedom fighters with a strong history. The Maroons occupy sovereign territory in Jamaica and they operate as a state within a state, meaning Jamaican laws do not apply to them. They settle their grievances among themselves. The term they use for someone who's not a Maroon is outsider. Yes, even me, a born and bred Jamaican, is called an outsider. We had to receive special permission to step foot on Maroon territory. Let's walk. We hiked to Nanny Falls, and along the way, Maurice teaches us how his ancestors use plants for medicine and in warfare. Our ancestors used to use it on the back of field. Yeah, I use that in soap. It's yeah. Very good so, soap? yeah, so it, it, you get the juice from it, you get the juice from it, and you squeeze it in the cut to stop the bleeding. So ancestors used to use it on the back of field. When we, in you know, our farm and them places, we use it as well. Call it Kwaku Bush. Yeah, man, yeah. that's straight, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's right here, so it's oh, called the carcoon vine. Oh. So you used to wrap them body in it and hide in the bushes from the British so they could be able to say it's the first camouflage that ever exists. Like our ancestors are the ones who really created the, the, the guerrilla warfare tactics. Um, they, they team up with the, the Taino Indians who were here on the island first. Um, and then when the Africans came, they then bond together. So the Tainos really and truly the first Maroons, if you ask me. Um, you know, because the, the name was Simaroon, uh, which is a Spanish name for wild and untamed. So that is when they and the Spanish used to war. More recently, I've studied and I've learned there was a word called Simaran, which is the Taino word for the fight of the spear. So I don't know, based on the war between the Spaniards and the Tainos, they may hear the Tainos speaking about Simaran, think that is the name and start calling them Simaroons and give it a meaning, say wild and untamed and all of that. So, you know, and then now the English and they got the word Simaroon, then they turn it into Maroon. So it's the Tainos and the Africans that came together to, to make the Maroon because the, the, the Tainos, they knew the terrain and the Africans, then they have the fighting skills. Today is Hero's Day. Yeah national holiday in Jamaica yeah. and we're here at Nanny Falls. Yeah. We're in Moortown, the yeah. home of Queen Nanny. Yeah. So tell us the um the significance of Queen Nanny and, and the space here for the moon culture. Queen Nanny, really and truly, she is the uh, one of the first African liberators to oppose the British. Mm -hmm. In that time the British control like quarter of the earth. So you know they have massive resources yes. and so forth and a, and a lady you know laid a handful of you know warriors in the mountains here in little jamaica here and you know she was victorious so if you think about somebody like that you know just you know that's just a, a small small sand grain you know yes. to the eat to what she really was you know she was a military leader mm -hmm. she was a strategist you know a lot of things that they have out there right now using, you know, where warfare is concerned. They learned it from the Maroons. Mm -hmm. And when you go anywhere now, you see our name, um, military leader, skilled in guerrilla warfare. Yes. So you know, you know, a person like that, of course, you know, being a descendant of her, mm -hmm. um, would have to find some time within the year. Or uh, even though I celebrate her every day, but you know, it's for family together yes. within the community and celebrate her and what best day to do it like Eras Day, you know, which she's the only female national heroine in Jamaica. So yeah. Yeah, so tell us about the falls. Alright, so the falls. Um it's a warrior sanctuary. Uh you know, it it, it carries its spiritual energy. A lot of people come here. Legend speaks of it um being a space your ancestors used to come before and after battle. So before battle they will come and have a warrior 
um, you know, like ritual so and cool. thing. Oh, great. And you know, they have a little strategy when them come and come and experience I tell them more about what go on there. So yes. um but then there's the after battle part of it. When they will come and you know, they will like cleanse before mm -hmm. they go back to integrate with them family. Because you know our granny would have tell us like you come from party or you come from out of road. If you sit down from the veranda and breeze off and let breeze the dopey off. out the door, yes. you know, that means yes. leave that negative energy outside. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the same order, you know what I mean? Okay. They will cleanse before them go back, you know, to integrate with them family. I remember you come from war, you kill, you know, all of things. So, yeah. you know, people have to get back spiritually balanced, mm -hmm. you know, mentally balanced mm -hmm. and so forth. So they can integrate back with them family. Listen, yeah. the romantic experience, get the experience. experience. Um, it's more than a tour. It's an yeah. experience. Yes, I